Hi everyone, right, one of the main things that I hear as far as people not wanting to get into Meshcore is it's not completely open source. That has changed. Stick with it and I'll tell you why. Okay folks, right, so uh, indeed, probably uh, one of the most uh, common comments I get as far as uh, people adopting Meshcore is it's not completely open source, so I'm not going anywhere near it. I've answered those things in previous videos, but uh, for those guys that are really set on that, it's got to be 100% open source for you to adopt anything. There's now an option, and that option is an app called Meshcore Open. Meshcore Open, it's in alpha, I think it's on version 020, and it's not available on the Play Store or whatever the iOS equivalent is, but uh, you can at the moment, I've installed it, install this type of thing at your own risk, mine, it's not coming off the main app stores. You are installing this at your own risk. I've installed it via an Android APK. I don't know what's uh, pre-compiled on there at the moment, but uh, certainly you can compile stuff for, you compile the app for other operating systems and platforms. But uh, yeah, it's something more for the people that are a little bit more uh, technically savvy, but uh, anything side-loaded, that type of thing, you install at your own risk. And indeed with uh, Android, I had to uh, enable a, a little switch in the uh, settings to enable me to install from third party sources. So I've taken the risk, I've installed it. Let's go and have a look. Okay, let's have a look. I've not deep dived into this myself yet, but um, yeah, have a play if you were, uh, want to so there's the channel display i've actually got it in dark mode at the moment but there's the channels that i've got configured on the system now if you're quite dexterous it's a little bit fiddly at the moment you can actually catch hold of those and move them up and down so you can order as you want as far as how the channels are displayed there which is jolly nice also if you um, press and hold all these things you usually get some extra options i don't want to do too much because i don't want to give away my um, key and all the rest of it but uh, a nice thing you can do there's the connect and disconnect thing there. There's a little uh, telemetry thing there as far as battery voltage is concerned. Okay. Whoops. So get on there. 100% or 4.2 volts. I'm running off of USB, a fixed power supply. So that's why that's right up. You can see messages coming through, notifications, notification sound. You can turn that on and off. The only thing I don't like so far is you can't uh, change notification on a channel by channel basis. But considering this is so early in uh, development, then uh, I certainly don't consider that to be a complaint. But uh, yeah, up here, if you click that, that's all your settings. I won't click that because it might give away my um, private key and all that type of stuff. But in there, that's where you can get to your app settings and also your companion node settings as well well which is great nice and easy to use on the bottom you've got um, contacts again if you just press and hold something it will if it's a repeater it will give you an option to manage the repeater if it's a person it will give you an option to chat to that person or edit the contact which is great also up here you get an option to reorder all those contacts and that you can actually create groups as well. That's that's very nice indeed. That's a nice little feature. So that's the basics of it really. Nice map on there as well, guys. And you can, um, I've taken off of uh, this map any room servers because I'm not interested really in room servers. But um, as you can see, even on this uh, pretty pants um, tablet, it's not a very good tablet. That map is quite responsive and you can see different colors for different types of devices, which is jolly good. Other options as well, and different layers down the bottom. So um, there we go, I won't um, keep on about it. If you fancy trying it yourself, I will leave the, the uh, link in the description below. And as I say, anything that's uh, not on the official Play Stores or whatever, and is side-loaded, then proceed with caution, okay? If you're not sure, wait for the app to uh, get into further development. It will be appearing on the app stores, etc. in due course, according to the messages that I'm seeing on Discord. But uh, in the meantime, there we go. There is now an open source app option for Meshcore. Catch you on the next one.